I have got an original Bob Peak. All right. Silk screen on canvas print from the 70s. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, he's like the biggest movie poster guy in, in the history of cinema. Yeah, and he did a lot of commercial work, too. He uh, did this for uh, Transworld Airlines, actually. Good old TWA. I have an original 1970s Bob Peak mural, which was done for Transworld Airlines. I buy things sometimes not knowing what they are. If it ends up being worthless, I'm out 10 bucks, right? I'm hoping to get about $750 for it. I think there's a lot of things you could do with that kind of money. And I think the safest thing to do would be to spend it. Do you know anything else about it? So he did four of these, and I spoke to his son via email, and his son told me this is the mural he did for the Asia continent. He did one for each region of the world. All right. Any idea what you're looking to get out of it? Right now, I'm thinking maybe 750 but I'd like to be mistaken, and hopefully it's worth more than that. OK. The condition around the corners is a little rough, but it looks like the actual print is in pretty good shape. Let me call a buddy of mine down and have him take a look. This looks like it's one of the TWA pieces from the Great American Getaway. To me, it always seems with a lot of posters, I mean, once a new poster came out, these kind of just got tore down and thrown away, right? That's correct. But this is not a poster. This is actually the last remaining original Bob Peak large format serograph that was used inside the TWA lounges. This is the one that sat in the first class lounge. Correct. Gotcha. What do you think it's worth? I would say that because it's in superb condition, it's worth between two and a half to five thousand dollars. Depending on who wants to buy it. Exactly. <laughs> so you still want 750? Your expert has changed my mind on that. I'll tell you what, it's a big piece, man. It's gonna require a lot of work. Do like 1250. Mm. I've got to frame it. It's a giant frame with a giant piece of glass. I'm sure you know that ain't cheap. I'd say that would be too low for me. Just knowing that it's worth between 2,500 and 5,000, I was thinking maybe you get 4,000 for it. So maybe 2,000 would be a fair price. I'll go 1,500 bucks. <laughs> 1,500 bucks is what I'll do. I mean, if I hold on to it, maybe the value will go up over the years. Maybe I can find a buyer myself. Maybe it won't. Yeah, maybe it won't. You're right. You're right. <laughs> 1500 bucks, Ben. Well, you're a good negotiator, and $1,500 is twice what I expected, so I think that's fair. If you make some money and I make some money, we're all happy. Perfect. Sounds good. Maybe right over there, we'll do some paperwork. All right. $1,500, can you believe it? That's crazy. I'm very excited. I'm really looking forward to paying off a lot of credit card debt. Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a pass? I caught the ball myself. He's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.